Südamerika. Der Rechte in Südamerika ist am Vormarsch. Denken wir an Brasilien, denken wir an viele andere Länder. Was ist wirklich los? Heute haben wir einen Experten aus Südamerika, Alfredo Lazzaretti, zu Gast bei einer Melange. So, hi Alfredo. How are you? How are you? We share a melange, but in true, we have to be honest, this politician is a tea. It's a tea, an air grey, good one. As you are from Latin America and a political expert on, on this, I wanted to ask you, it seems that the right wing is on the rise in South America at the moment. What, you, what is your analysis on this situation? Well, the first question is like, is it is true? You, we have it now this Bolsonaro government in Brazil that really is a huge concern for all the region and only, not only for the region because we are talking about Brazil that is one of the biggest economy of the world. This is really a problem, such kind of president there from the far right. And also the last Uruguayan elections, the Frente Amplio has lost the election. Now we will have a new center right government in Uruguay, we have the same in Chile, with the, all a lot of social protests, as you can watch, I guess, in your TV. And also we have this delicate situation in Bolivia, where we are mm -hmm. living certain kind of coup d'etat, let me say soft coup d'etat, but the, they will vote again on May. We will see what is going there. So but at anyway, least there is democracy. Sorry? At least there is democracy. Of course, of course, that the, that's that that don't means few or it's yeah. really very important to keep the exactly. democratic system running in Latin America without interruptions yeah. even if we have this new model as impeachment against Dilma Rousseff in, in Brazil what is going on in Bolivia but of course if a different nature that the former dictatorship and this means that this is a, a positive thing but of course nevertheless all the right wing or certain right wing are winning, winning the elections that is a problem. But also in, in Brazil we would say win the election, yes, but we were not sure if it was... They also used some tricks, no? They attacked very strongly, they... They, first of all, take, the they made the impeachment against Dilma, yeah. and after they make Lula. a strong attack from the PT, they put Lula in jail without so many evidence. And uh, for this question, the court have decided to release him yeah. one month ago, that really, that was also very good news for the democracy in the in the region but the only way that you can try to understand what is going on in Brazil is of course the problem of security yeah. in 2018 in Brazil around 60,000 60,000 people died by violence on 60, the street and this is a huge amount and the people sometimes in such kind of situation they are trying to find someone that can give them a promise of an order, order or oh, somebody that is taking care about that. We have to have, is, did it become better? No. If we don't know, we need to follow the new statistics to know if this become better or not. But the people feel that a candidate that coming from the right where its vice president also is a former general of Brazil army, the people feel more secure. And of course, it was a tough polarization between the Workers' Party and this new ocean, accusing them to be corrupt and to be the responsible, all is wrong in the country. And also, you need to have one aspect more, that is the religious one. And because yeah. Bolsonaro is very linked with this evangelic movement in Brazil, that they are completely against of the right of the minority, of the right of the lesbian gay community, or the gender the ideas. This is a combo or all but negative things. In Chile we already see social protests are getting higher because social conditions are getting more complicated. In Brazil always was an extremely split country, but at least with Lula and, and uh, Rousseff the split get less, the poor pe people got a little bit more, but this seems to change now. And I, I, isn't it a danger because if social situation becomes more complicated? You never f must forget that uh, Latin America is the continent where there is the most great inequalities. Yeah. Yes, that is always there. The poverty has been reduced, but inequality has grown. 
And this means that all the peoples try to fight to improve their own life, like this happened in Chile with the mobilization now, because they want to have an equal access to high education, to a very good quality of the health systems. And they ask to the state that be responsible of this service, yeah. because they believe that the health and education is a right. It's not something that you need to buy in the market. Yeah, for this question, they, they are fighting that, of course. Of course, we will see what's, what's going on in the, in the coming year because also the main discussion in Chile is to change the constitution. They still have more or less the same constitution that like Pinochet the, left yeah, them. Yeah. And this is something... No? Yeah, when exactly. he left, he said, you have to take my constitution and I'm leaving. Uh, something like Which, that. They have made uh, some yes, change, yes, but, yeah. even in the electoral system, and in that sense has been very positive the last Bachelet government. But of course, the, spill, the people the want more. Often, yeah. Yeah? And we will see what happened with this reform that is foreseen from May or June in this year. We will see that could be a, a positive change. My, my last point is, because also what we see in Europe and also what we see in the US is that right-wing populists talking strange things, making strange politics are on the right. And what, what I feel is that also European conservatives like so much this new right government in Latin America, which I think is a mistake, because at the end, there, like here, also the problems get more when the right wing is on government, because they usually work for their own pocket and their own interest. That will happen the same in Latin America, and maybe this is the reason, because they feel more comfortable with, with our right political expression, because of course they gave priority to, to the market, to the business, to the great companies. To and bosses. Yes, of course, and there is another tendency that we believe that the, we need to have a strong so, state that redistributes. But my, my friends, as we are both socialists, yes. when will the left come back? Well, how? we will see what to do. The left has made a very good progress in the region, because you never forget that in the first decade of yeah. the use this century, almost all Latin America were ruling with and the now, center left party. Now we have another way, eh? but we need to wait a little bit. Eh? I, 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 I believe that the that the left, the center left, front parties, they will be Same able movement. to recover, to learn of what they have done in wrong way when they were in government and try to offer a new possibility. We will must be optimistic as yeah. always because the people with their struggle for more equality, we are in the same side so, of them. Then we import Alfredo's optimism also to Europe. Uh, yes. Also. yes, of course that we need it here. Yeah. Thank you for watching and thank you for coming. Thank you.